I'm Nathan. And I'm Cecilia. And now it's time for CHS Today. Attention student council members. There will be a mandatory meeting on Thursday during SRE in Mrs. Stork's room. We need volunteers for eighth grade tours and we will be planning for next year. If you can't be in attendance, you must see Mrs. Stork or Mr. Blake. <clears throat> Attention seniors, if you have any photos from this school year to put into the senior edition of the Clarion, please send them to the school email asoriano6557. Pictures can include sports photos, club photos, as well as other memories. If you submit photos, please have them submitted by May 10th. For today's look at drugs and alcohol facts week, here's Mrs. Duncan to explain how how some drugs can affect your brain. When people take drugs, it affects the way the neurons in the brain either send or receive messages. So basically, um, that's why people act crazy and they don't act like themselves because their brain can't function as it normally would. And unfortunately, a lot of times those neurons get damaged, they get injured, and brain injuries typically aren't something people recover from. So it often can lead to permanent damage. So some of the side effects are really visible. I mean, oftentimes you can tell a person is under the influence. Um, and a lot of times it's just a, a change in their behavior. So if you notice major behavioral changes, and they're not acting like themselves or they're doing things like they normally wouldn't do, stealing from family members, you know, a lot of times that addiction drives them and that's the only thing they're focused on. Oftentimes, you know, young people, teenagers, you know, if they're doing drugs and under the influence, their brains are still under development stages. So um, that can have an even greater impact um, and changes. And of course, those are gonna be lifelong things oftentimes. 16 and 17 year olds are now legally able to serve as an election poll worker. If you are interested, you must be a U.S. citizen, a resident of Fayette County, have a GPA of 3.0, the approval of the school and guardians, and have completed training. You also must register to vote to be able to work the polls. Voting polls open on May 3rd and you will make $80. If you are interested, please see the front office for registration paperwork or contact the Republican or Democratic Party for more information. Seniors, don't forget to turn in your senior quotes this year for the yearbook. If we don't have enough students to participate, senior quotes might not be implemented. The Google Classroom code for senior quotes is OMTDHZB. National Honor Society members, Tri Kappa Sorority needs help making Easter eggs on Friday and Saturday. See Google Classroom for details and sign up on Google Classroom or Miss Bomber's wall. CHS is having its annual art show open house at the Fayette County Public Library. The open house will take place on April 4th from 5 to 6 p.m. Snacks and drinks will be provided. The Freshman Class Council will meet Friday, April 1st in the choir room Columbia 101 during SRE to discuss spring fundraiser. All freshmen are welcome to attend. On this day in 1974, the Terracotta Stone Army was discovered by a group of farmers in China. The army consisted of 8,000 life-size soldiers and horses. It was later discovered to be the tomb of Emperor Qin Shi Hong. The police rescued an owl stranded in a family's kitchen yesterday. The North Carolina Greenville Police Department was called to report a home with an owl. Two police responded to the call and sent an animal rescue team to capture the bird. They caught the owl and sent it back to the wilderness with no injuries. Massachusetts man has avoided the high gas prices and cut his commute time in half. Rick Madera is using an electric unicycle instead of a car. He is now encouraging others to invest in electric unicycles as well because he believes they are the future of travel. Lunch for tomorrow will be chicken white fried rice, at vegetable egg roll, Asian vegetables, and crunchy Asian tortilla chips. Other options include chicken nuggets, a homemade veggie burger, or a classic American cheeseburger with oven baked curly fries and a whole grain dinner roll. We had a cold start to the morning, and it looks pretty dreary out. Will we see any rain in the forecast, Cheryl? 
Thanks guys. We are actually planning on seeing some rain today. Around 5 p.m. we have a 30% chance of rain and the temperatures are going to be in the mid 40s. And then as we head into tonight, it is going to stay cloudy and the temperatures are going to drop a little bit, but not a lot. Tomorrow morning we have that 30% chance of rain again and it is going to be in the mid 30s once, or mid 40s, my bad, once again. Heading into tomorrow, those temperatures are going to raise, like I said yesterday, about 30 degrees and the lows are going to be in the low 50s, so it's going to be pretty warm tomorrow. Thursday, we have that chance of rain again. The temperatures are going to drop and Friday, we have a little bit of sun and the temperatures are going to stay around the same as Thursday. That's all I have for the weather. Now back to the desk. Now over to Emily with the sports. Thanks guys. There will be a girls basketball meeting on Thursday, March 31st in Coach Harder's room, Jennings 232. They will discuss limited contact and summer plans. If you cannot attend, please stop by Coach Harder's room. Varsity Tennis opens their season tonight at Shenandoah. Let's see how they've been preparing. I think we'll be the, uh, all right, we're uh, a young team. Uh, but uh, it's be, uh, being successful, uh, just being um, one practice, one match at a time. Uh, so even though we are young, I think we have a lot of potential. Uh, goals, uh, one, just having uh, the girls have fun. Um, also, uh, getting that team bonding. Uh, so if we all do uh, really well with team bonding, then uh, the wins will come. So um, I have been going to all the workouts that I can before season started and now season has started and we're working really hard to try to improve our game and just do the best we can. There's been a bunch of new girls come out for the team and I'm really excited and see a lot of potential and hope for the season. Hopefully my goal is to um, win sectionals. <laughs> Um, we will achieve this goal by putting in a lot of hard work and just practicing as much as we can to get better as a team. I I'm, think I'm going to do pretty good. Hopefully I get varsity and I can work with my doubles partner and like get where I want to be. My first goal is to get on varsity and my second goal is just to have a good season and win a bunch of matches. To get my goals, I'm going to work really hard at practice. Um, if I do make varsity, I'm going to work with my doubles partner like to get on a personal level and make sure that we're close and we can communicate on the court. So when I think about sectionals, I think to last year. Last year we made it to the finals for the first time in years. Um, we lost by one match against Franklin County and it was a rough loss for us, but I think that kind of pushes our team to work harder this year to win. We do have a younger team this year. We lost quite a few seniors last year, but I still think we do have that chance to win sectionals this year. Um, my goals for the season are to improve better as a player and to help the team improve overall because I was picked as the captain to help lead the team and I believe that um, I should help the younger girls learn their fundamentals better and I just want to help them improve so we can improve as a team rather than just individually. Tennis is definitely the sport that like has my heart I guess you would say. Um, so. I did lose my sophomore year and it was very sad so I am going to be sad whenever tennis season ends but I'm excited to go to college. Um, they do have like tennis clubs at Ball State where I plan on going so I'm excited to play there and just join clubs and continue to play even after high school but I will miss the team once I graduate. Sports action for tonight is girls varsity tennis at Randolph Southern from 5 to 7. Good luck, Spartans. That's all for the sports. Now back to the desk for birthdays. Birthdays for today are Brooke Mays, Logan Jordan, and Lexus Griffin. The only birthday for tomorrow is Ben Bischoff. Happy birthday, everybody. Um, it's Tuesday. And Sam won't stop dancing off set. And that's all. Oh. Cecilia won't let me say anything funny. <laughs> that's all.